Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access uh nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, in case I sound tired or a little uh, lethargic, I'm not. I just came back from the gym, was in the sauna. And for all you guys who have uh, wondered if sauna is a great fit in your lifestyle, trust me, I recently started in the last couple of months. It's unbelievable that you sweat out all your toxins, you sleep better at night, give it a shot 15 minutes every day or every other day. It's absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, guys, so, and as you can tell, I'm pretty relaxed. So let's talk about the tape. Number one, uh, everybody who is brand new to the channel, welcome aboard, subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, right? All that good stuff to help us uh, grow the movement of technical analysis and more important, unbiased technical analysis based on price action, not uh, of opinion. So let's talk about the tape, right? We, we discussed last night, this was day two of the Powell uh, testimonial, right? On Capitol Hill. Um, you know, the markets were looking for uh, more clarity of, you know, what's going to happen next. Um, unlike yesterday that we saw, you know, quite a bit of violence. Uh, the Dow was down about 500 points yesterday. NASDAQ got clipped as well. Uh, today was a little bit more muted, right? Um, you know, it started light. You know, the Dow was still down, you know, I think 100, 200 points, whatever the hell it was. NASDAQ was up about four, uh, 40 points or so. But it felt less muted. It felt less violent today. It felt less angry and it felt less, uh, you know, less algorithmic, okay, in nature today. And today was just one of those sessions that uh, the levels that we talked about last night on the queues, if you could talk, if you guys remember last night, we talked about the importance of the 10 day moving average. We talked about last night's uh, low, uh, 294.87. Can you guess what the, the, today's lows was, right? 294 night uh, 294.88. Tell me, technical analysis is not is not cool. So the bulls held those levels and started kind of grinding higher. Uh, the biggest takeaway of the Powell's second day uh, testimony was that he basically said that you know that the Fed hasn't really reached a, a decision of of the size of how big uh, the March uh, price uh, hike was going to be. And I, and I think the market kind of was like almost a relieved. Uh, almost like a relieved notion that hey number number you know number one we didn't get that second day uh, aggressive sell off at least in the macro market we'll get the Tesla in a second that we discussed last night as well uh, but more important is it's almost like the fact that they couldn't agree on um, the fact that they couldn't agree yet uh, on a scenario of are they doing 50 basis points 75 25. Uh, the mul the bulls kind of looked at that as a net positive, right? And uh, you know, once he stopped speaking, once he finished uh, with the Q and A, again, had a nice little, you know, had a nice little grind uh, off the bottom of the channel. He had nothing crazy here. Uh, the wildest part about uh, the wildest part about uh, today's session was was the big dick disconnect in two of my favorite stocks, right? You have you have Tesla that we talked about last night, and if, you know, and we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. Uh, obviously lost this whole range here. Beautiful move here uh, into the 180 support. That, you know, that's that's all fine and dandy. But my other favorite stock was NVIDIA, right? If anybody's been watching this channel, you guys have been with me in the webinar, some of you guys have been with me for almost, uh, you know, 13, 14 years. You kind of know that, you know, I love NVIDIA. I love uh, I love uh, Tesla. And Tesla, I was obviously looking on the downside yesterday. Uh, if you guys remember, I was also watching NVIDIA to the downside as well, right? We were looking for that a uh, bottom channel and I show you it didn't it didn't quite get there and that's the whole point of having a plan if you guys recall last night's video uh, I turned around and said look that's my plan right I planned to short this thing below the 10 day moving average but who the hell knows if it even gets there and that's the whole point you never anticipate because if you do anticipate you get run over and now we're in a very unique situation uh, going into tomorrow's session that Nvidia looks great right Nvidia is super you know super tight super strong and if it starts confirming you know the, the high channel from three days ago hey if the market's strong tomorrow you could see 46 47 i mean that's how good looking the stock is and on the other side of the spectrum you have tesla right the tesla this is the lowest close in the whole formation and if this thing starts confirming down today's channels you know you got that 177 that we talked about before 
uh, a really, really aggressive potential cycle if it doesn't hold uh, that 77. So it's a very unique day. Usually when you have uh, a day that, you know, the Qs hold, uh, use, usually when the Qs hold the bottom of the channel, I would turn around and go, well, you know, it's we still need to reclaim the previous day's high, which we do. But at least now we have, you know, some really great looking setups for tomorrow. Like, like NVIDIA looks great if it confirms uh, the, the channel from two days ago. Uh, look at AMD, right? AMD, you know, these semis are starting to look really, really good. AMD looks great. And if the market starts coming in, right, you got Tesla. You got Tesla for more downside uh, as well. So we're, we're in a very, very unique, uh, you know, kind of a unique situation that I usually don't uh, see many times going into uh, a trading session that both of my stocks are in play, but completely opposites. Uh, sides of the spectrum, which which will be a very very uh, interesting session tomorrow. So let's talk about the specific numbers on the ETFs, right? Again, like like I said uh, in the last week or so. Again, for all you guys who are taking 10, 15 minutes out of your time to to listen to my nonsense and to uh, give me you know you know give me uh, your time of day, at least I can give you guys uh, you know uh, at least I could give you guys a specific area uh, that the cues need to either break down or to reclaim, right? So as you can see here, as we talked about last night's video, uh, again, we have a double bottom that held, right? So you had 294.87, and today's low was 294.88, right? So that's 294.87 has gone held twice. If the queues start building below this 294.87, then we're gonna get pulled. And the most important part is now the other side of the spectrum. Again, we don't trade based on bias. We trade based on data. So the most important part is that you guys remember like three days ago, we reclaimed this whole 99 area, right, to get out of this whole channel here. So that's kind of what the bulls need to do. They need to get back above uh, this 298.5, 299. If the bulls can reclaim the 298, 290, uh, 299 area, I think we will start to rally. I, I just think at this point, it, like I always say every single night, you need to be ready on both sides. That the market is is such an erratic beast from time to time that it's just not going to let you get comfortable. And that's the most important part uh, for 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 the market to to have risk on. The bulls really need to uh, close above that 299 level and confirm uh, that 304 move that we had from three days ago. And obviously, the bears need to do their job. Uh, get below this uh, 294.87 and start building below uh, into the 50-day uh, moving average. Uh, you know some some really some really um, you know some really odd bets uh, odd bets that we saw this morning. As you can see uh, after the close, again here's another example that somebody always knows something, right? There were buyers coming in this morning uh, for next week's 350 and three dollar puts. Man, guys are really really good guesses. I have to tell you, nope. Nobody's afraid of jail. Nobody's afraid of jail. But Fox, Warden Gecko, nobody's afraid of jail, right? You don't need to do inside trading anymore. Just have an option scanner. They're, they're, they're screaming at you so that somebody knows something. In another case that somebody might know something, look at this little stock, AMAT, right? A buyer came in today. You see this whole volume bar here, right? You see this whole volume bar? A buyer came in, I believe, for next month's $15 puts, excuse me, $15 calls, uh, laid out $1.3 million on, on, that, uh, on that bet. What's interesting about it is, again, if this was an Amazon, you know, nobody would think twice that's an institutional stock. But since this is not, this is one of the, you know, one of a $10 stock, somebody's making a bet uh, that the stock's going to $15, you know, it's a 50% premium uh, in a month's time, people are going to pay attention. You can see here when, when the stock, when, here's the, you know, here's the bet, right? Here's the bet off that, I'm sorry, not AMAT, I'm sorry. A A M A M. I knew I knew it looked weird. Okay, A M A M. Sorry about that. So you could see where the bet came from. This nine dollar area, and they started buying calls, and this you know the the price action off the calls started chasing up uh, the underlying security. Keep an eye on this thing, right? Keep look, look at the sixty minute view. If this thing starts taking out the sixty minute view tomorrow, you know, and this thing has a chance to wake up. Keep an eye on that as well. So the options market, uh, the options market, uh, very active. Uh, and again, you don't need to be an options trader to appreciate uh, money flow in the individual stocks. A lot of times when they're betting deep out of the money, both long and short, uh, there's a good chance the stock will uh, you know, start moving in that direction. Speaking of which, right? Speaking of which, massive size today, right? Massive size today came into the weekly 180s, 175, 170 puts. We saw bets coming in for next month, right? For next month for the 160 
165 puts. They weren't coming in for you know ten, fifteen thousand dollars. They were coming in for mid six figure, uh, you know, small, small, small uh, seven figure bets. So I, again, again, I think tomorrow. Uh, I definitely want to watch Tesla back down through uh, today's channels to see uh, if there could be another uh, day uh, down. So again, the stage is set for tomorrow. Uh, again, we held a 10-day moving average today on the queues. Uh, let's see if the bulls can reclaim back that 98 and a half, 99 area on the queues, and let's see if the bears uh, can get down below uh, that uh, 294.87 level that it held uh, now twice. Now that Powell's out of the way, you're not going to get a lot of uh, you know, you're going to get a lot of random moves. And I think the market it took a, a big breath of fresh air, kind of exhaled today that it wasn't a day two of uh, carnage from his words. Because ironically, the same words that sold off the market could have easily rallied the market today in exactly the same matter. So now that it's out of the way, uh, business is back uh, to usual. Uh, let me give you guys uh, a couple of names that I am definitely watching for tomorrow. We talked about NVIDIA. Uh, we talked about uh, we talked about AMAM just now. Uh, we just talked about Tesla right now. Look at Apple, right? Apple had a really, really, uh, really strong three-day move, right? Um, the blow-off, I don't want to use the word blow-off top, but the blow-off kind of scenario is when Goldman Sachs upgraded and they had a PR and had a big, big run here, put an inverted hammer. Again, inverted hammer gives you a couple of days worth of selling. That's exactly what happened. But, you know, let's watch this Apple tomorrow as well. You see this old channel here? If this thing could just start building above this channel here, maybe Apple wakes up as one. So, you know, we have some longs that we're watching. We definitely have some shorts that we're watching as well. We know the price action for the queues. So we're set up. And again, that's the most important part. You don't need to be right. Um, you know, your setups can go completely the opposite direction. Like, for example, today I was looking at uh, Tesla short, which was the, definitely the trade of the day. Uh, and I was looking for an NVIDIA short as well, which never got down to the bottom of the range. So you don't need to be right. You don't need to be perfect, right? The key is make a plan, stick to that plan. Don't anticipate, never anticipate or else you get run over. Wait for confirmation. Let it take out the previous day's high. If you're going long, let it take down the previous day's uh, uh, down channel. If you're going short, never anticipate. I promise you, you they're going to cut off your, your, your ear. We're keeping it PG today, right? We're going to keep, they're going to cut off your ear if you anticipate the trade, especially if you're trading on the option side, your premium goes to zero, uh, just like that. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the pivots today. Uh, NVIDIA again, here's a perfect example, 231.30. If it builds below can flush, got nowhere near the 231.30. And matter of fact, I put in a pivot to the afternoon. The stock kind of is almost about to confirm the pre, uh, the, 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 the high from two days ago. Uh, yeah, here's the trade of the day. Uh, we talked about it last night. Uh, I believe Kyler made uh, a YouTube short, right? One of those YouTube shorts. Uh, 186 was the double bottom, right? We talked about this last night video. I didn't give you guys a, a price that everybody in the webinar knows. Uh, you know, 186 double bottom yesterday. Uh, also, the, the March two lows, if it builds below, can see uh, 182 for a stop. Not only did it take out uh, the, uh, the 182, went down to 180. I think there's a shot if it starts taking out today's channel, we, we could see uh, 177 tomorrow. So great, great, great trade. Um, snow, right? Snow, not a big move at all. I think went down a dollar. Uh, 140 held twice if it builds below. Uh, can flush, only went down a dollar. Uh, ASTS, another little stock that I like, didn't trigger today. Uh, ZS, nice move. Uh, I think we talked about ZS for the last couple of days. Uh, 116.60 earnings low if it builds below can flush. Here is uh, ZS, right? So it took down the 1660. I traded down to 13 uh, and change. Uh, Amazon, not a big move down. Uh, you know, 92.66 if it builds below can flush. I traded down about 45 cents. Not a big move before it reversed. Netflix held once again at 306 level. Traded down to you know 305.75 before it reversed. Uh, this little stock here, AZUL. Uh, 707 needs to build. Uh, nice little chart. You know, not really my thing, but a nice little chart here. It closed pretty much at the highs of the day. Got above the 707. Uh, you yeah, know, listen, if it could confirm today's channels, who knows? Maybe you could start uh, waking up as well. I believe there was a buyer that came in yesterday for the 750s for next week. Uh, crowd had a you know initial nice move on earnings, and then it just really, really died. Uh, here is the 134, traded to 135. And look at the reversal. Big, big reversal back down. And do, 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 oh yeah, so this is kind of where, where Nvidia Nvidia started waking up here. Uh, in case the market runs later after Powell is done, obviously that was the point. Uh, Nvidia two two forty one thirty and two forty two fifty. Nick's big areas to confirm for a two forty six push. 
here is the video, right? So it hasn't had the big move yet. So I, I, I don't have any either. Uh, I don't have any, unfortunately. Uh, I logged off already uh, before this happened, but it took out the 241 and a quarter, and now it's pushing this top of the channel here. If we can confirm tomorrow, especially it's you know, especially if it gaps above that number, if we can confirm opening range highs, I think there's a shot at 246, 247. So that's it, guys. The stage is set. Another day in the books. Uh, tomorrow, uh, there is no video. Tomorrow uh, is my uh, normal Thursday night uh, res day that I could decompress the brain and be ready for Friday's session. But if you are uh, joining us tomorrow in the webinar, we kick things off. Everything fires up around uh, 9 o'clock. And hopefully, we'll see you guys there. All right, guys. Have a great night. God bless. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care.